Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here, and in today's video, I'm going to talk about a controversial topic. The fan base for years has applauded the removal of HMs and HM-like features in Pokemon games, but I gotta say, in recent generations, I've started to miss the clunkiness and usage of HMs a little bit. So in today's video, I want to talk about HMs, how I think they should actually be reintroduced into the Pokemon franchise, and how I think Game Freak could do it successfully. But before we get into that discussion, I just wanted to mention that today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. For those who don't know, Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity and learn new skills. Have a specific skill that you're trying to learn? Skillshare is the perfect place to start. From photography and illustration to graphic design, freelancing and more, you can find classes that will match your goals and interests. It's also an excellent way to invest in yourself and your own personal growth. Interested in video creation, mastering social media use for marketing, or for personal growth, or the gaming online space? Skillshare has courses that would be perfect for helping you learn new and exciting things about them all. Personally, I've been learning a lot from Thomas Frank's course on productivity and how to master your daily workflow routine. Now, if you're interested, head down to the link in the description because the first 1,000 people who use the link will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Check it out down below. And thanks so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. One of the biggest benefits that HMs had to the Pokemon games was that it tethered your party to the overworld itself. It made the construction of your roster an integral part of how you explored the various regions of the Pokemon world. And I think in more recent games, we've kind of lost that connection between the region itself and the roster of Pokemon that you use. I'm not saying some of the more recent regions have been bad, but I just think it's a little strange when you come across an object in the overworld that you have to move and you summon a random wild Pokemon that you have no connection to and might not have even ever caught in your party or in your PC box, and it just comes and helps you clear the obstacle. If that's the case, then remove the obstacles and just make progression based on gyms alone. Now, I'm not saying to bring back HMs and make it a crystal clear piece of your move set or to make it something that is incredibly hard to remove from your Pokemon. I think you can take HMs and make them applicable to the physical attributes of the Pokemon that you have. So as an example, if you have a water type Pokemon, you use that Pokemon to ride across the water, to dive under the ocean, to climb up waterfalls. You don't need to teach it any specific move, it just is linked to the physical attributes of the Pokemon and to the type that the Pokemon is. This can go for flying type Pokemon as well. You have a bird that can fly with its wings, you have a Pokemon that can levitate, you can take that Pokemon and travel across the region via fast travel. It doesn't have to be overly complicated, but it would allow the pairing of overworld travel and overworld exploration to be linked again to the party. And for a single player RPG like Pokemon is, I think that we've kind of lost some of the magic between the party and the overworld in the removing of the HMs. Like I said before, I'm not in favor of making it a move again, making it incredibly difficult and obtuse to alter. You have to go to a specific town in the game and get a specific person to remove this move, but you can change the rest of your moves on the fly whenever you want. I think it should be a lot more like Legends Arceus, where the moves are like the items you would attach to members of a party in a, in a typical JRPG. You can move them around and swap them out and add new ones and subtract old ones as you like. That should be the way moves work, and they should be completely separated from what HMs are. I don't love the current crop of ride Pokemon and other features that are in modern games. I think it removes a lot of the reflection of what your party is. Now, they've done a couple things in years past where certain Pokemon get their own versions of this. So you could surf on a Lapras if you had a Lapras in your party in some games. I think there needs to be more of that. I think you need to be able to see all the Pokemon in the overworld that you're using. But even if you're not, even if Game Freak feels that's too complicated and too overly involved for them to commit to such a small feature, you can still make it like it had been in older games where it's a shadowy version of a Pokemon that could represent anything, but you need the Pokemon in your party in order to do it. 
I'm not saying you need to completely crunch down on how you can construct your rosters either. It can be as simple as water type Pokemon can do anything with water. Flying type Pokemon can do anything with flight. If you have a Pokemon that is big and physical or is a rock type and ground type or a fighting type, they can clear obstacles like rock smash and strength typically would. They can move barriers and move different things. I think you can construct all of this in a way that reflects building a really good team for the single player story while not attaching them to moves, and also building up that connection to be a lot stronger than it has been in previous games. I really think there's something there, and I think it has merit, and I think it has value to Pokemon as a franchise. Now, before going further, I just wanted to mention that the vast majority of you guys who are watching these videos and hopefully enjoying them aren't subscribed to the channel. Now, of course, subscribing is free, and you can unsubscribe anytime. And if you do subscribe, be sure to turn that notification bell on so you never miss another upload. And check out the join tab, see if the perks interest you, and if you want to go the extra mile and support me, that is always also greatly appreciated. Generally, I just think that when Pokemon Overworlds were constructed with your roster of teammates in mind, I just think it was a better visually and aesthetically a pleasing experience. I think it was more interesting. I think it made you think more. Sure, it was a pain, but I think there's ways to get around that pain while still making it an evident feature in Pokemon games. I can't help but feel that when I'm exploring through the Sinnoh region as an example in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, I walk up to a rock or a boulder that I need to use Rock Smash or Strength on, I just go onto my Poketch and call upon some random Pokemon that I might not even have caught, might not be on my team, might not be in the box, it just is summoned from the world and it helps me. If that's going to be the case, just remove the block and just make it contingent upon Gym Badge Collection. There shouldn't need to be this extra fluff for something that has nothing to do with the team that you're using. I think there's an appeal to it being connected to the team that you're using. Now, sure, it does limit roster construction a little bit. You can't get around the region flying if you don't have a Pokemon that can fly in the air or levitate or soar in any sort of way. You are restricted from the water if you don't have a Pokemon that can swim. But I gotta ask, how often are players going through these regions not using a water type Pokemon? How often are players not going through these regions not just based on prior generation experience adding a flying type to their team? Because in previous generations, it was always that you needed fly on your roster somewhere. People seem to just do it instinctively. And I think Game Freak can look at that and go, okay, we don't have to create games where there are absolutely no roster benefits in the overworld to what Pokemon you use on your team. I think they can marry the two together, and I think you can have more of a classic Pokemon feel, while also making the games more modern and advanced, and not taking up move slots. I also think you need to take features from some of the modern games. Take Legends Arceus, for example. You could maneuver your moves at will. It didn't matter what move was attached to your Pokemon. You could teach it new moves whenever you wanted, as long as you had unlocked them in the training area, or if you had unlocked them via level up um, unlocks. You could remove certain moves at will and swap them out. This is a modern RPG feature that makes Pokemon seem more like classic party members when you're attaching items to them. This is the way it should be forever. This is the way it should be married to this new form of hidden machines and this modern way of using moves. It would also benefit the competitive game because you could detach a lot of these moves like Surf and Fly from their HM use and make them more competitively viable. Waterfall and Surf are already decently viable moves outside of them being HMs. They've In modern games, they have become viable moves outside of HMs. Why not make all of these HM moves separate and make them more viable for competitive play? Competitive and story progression are already largely separated in Pokemon games. I don't play the competitive scene, but I absolutely adore the story. I don't need my Pokemon's roster of moves to be contingent upon what I'm bringing into a competitive battle. I would like it to be more married to the story progression and the region progression of the game. What do you guys think? Do you like my idea to sort of bring back HMs in a pseudo way? Or do you think modern Pokemon games have it right and you don't want to see Game Freak take anything that might be considered by some a step back? Let me know down in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more like it in the future, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like on this video. My name has been Linky and we'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.